Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. Before I jump into this video, I just want to go over a few things about my channel moving forward. A lot of my videos will be a lot shorter and more precise just to keep it more organized. As you know from before, I created a website where I'm going to be putting all of my information now. So if you do see some things that you're like, hey, I've seen this before in a video. It's been a long time since I've consistently made videos and I have a lot more subscribers now that are new new people that are watching the video. And it's always good to just go back and check and make sure that you have some of these steps completed because if you have a new Windows or you've updated your Windows, a lot of settings do change. So it's always good to verify. All right, let's jump right into this video. So this is something that I've talked about many times on my channel before, dual booting Windows. So that means that you're gonna have two windows when you load up and you can pick which one you wanna load into. This makes it so that way you can do tweaks on your system and you're not gonna affect one, your files that you might have saved if you just have one Windows and you keep everything on it, pictures, videos, you black screen. It's really easy to get into the black screened Windows if you have two Windows open by getting into safe mode. It's also nice because you don't have to worry about any viruses that you might download when you're doing other things. And you're always gonna have that consistent performance on your gaming Windows, which is always key for development and improving your game. So the link to my page is down below the video here. You're just going to click and it's going to bring you right to this page. So we're going to open up disk management. Now when you're at this screen right here, if you only have one Windows, you're only going to see like your C drive here. This is my second one, same Windows 7, but not Windows 7 anymore. You're going to right click on your main hard drive that you see with the most gigabytes. You're going to click shrink volume. Now you'll see that it only says I have 8 gigabytes free. An easy way to convert megabytes to gigabytes is just think about it as three decimal places here so you have 8 gigabytes left. I should have a lot more. As you can see up here I have 170 gigabytes free. Now I'm going to show you a few steps here to change that. The first one is disabling your system restore. For whatever reason, this becomes just a problem overall. So if you just open up control panel, system, security, go to system, and bring you to this page. Scroll down to advanced system settings. Now pretty much everything we're gonna do is gonna be on this page right here. First, we're gonna to go to system protection. Then you're gonna to go to configure, disable system protection. You can turn this on right after you already shrink your volume and create the two windows. You can turn it right back on and nothing's gonna happen. But the next step we're gonna do is on this advanced tab, the performance. We're gonna to go to the advanced tab again, virtual memory, change, uncheck automatically manage, page paging file size for all drives then go to no paging file set, click yes and okay now one more step here we're going to go down to startup and recovery under the right debugging information here where it says automatic memory dump most likely turn this to none click okay after you've completed those steps, give your system a reboot. Now you should be good to go to shrink the volume. What I recommend is if you're only playing like Fortnite or just a couple games, give yourself like 80 to 100 gigabytes depending on how much hard drive space you have. If you have a lot, you can obviously give yourself more. But for the games you don't need to worry about your FPS or your performance, just leave it on your other windows because it doesn't matter if you're gonna get the best performance out of the games that you don't really care about. So now after we've created our new windows, I'm gonna talk you through how to download a new windows. In my next video, I'm gonna go over a couple ISOs that I believe are some of the best that I've found out there that other people have made. You can also just use a completely normal, straight from windows stock file. And that's most likely gonna be better than what you've been playing on if it's completely bloated and you've had the same windows for years and you've never done anything to it. So we're gonna click on the Rufus link right here to bring us to this page. Scroll down a little bit and download. 
how your download should start. Open it up. Now I don't have my USB in. So I'll put my USB in my computer. I'm gonna open Rufus back up. You can see that the Rec OS was the last one that I downloaded onto here. You can go to download. Click on the download. Now it's gonna give you Windows versions, whatever you wanna download. I like Windows 10, lets you click a build. This would be downloading a stock Windows. So after you've already selected a file here, you can just click start, it's gonna download, and then this ready bar will turn to green. Once you're at that point, that's where you're gonna start up your computer in BIOS. That means holding the delete key, F1, F2, whatever it says on your screen when you start booting up your computer. You're gonna go into your boot menu, and then it's you're most likely gonna be called like UEFI USB, something along those lines, and that's what you're gonna start from. And it's gonna pop up just like you're downloading Windows for the first time. And after you've set up that Windows, every time you boot up your computer, you're gonna see that you have two Windows options to click on. You'll be able to choose whatever one you wanna go into. Just a few more steps I wanna go through if you're still having problems. One is disabling hibernation. So if you run CMD as an administrator, you're gonna copy this right here, paste it, enter, and then restart your computer after. If your disk management won't open at all, it's very possible that you have it off, the services that are needed. So we're gonna go into registry editor. We're gonna copy this whole line right here into this top bar. I'm gonna bring you to this page. Under start right here. This is on four, change it to two. Three is fine as well. But if it's on four, that means it's off. And you're gonna do the same thing again with the service down here. Same thing if it's on four, change it to two or three. And then restart your computer and give it another chance. If you have any issues with this video, something that didn't go wrong, you're still having problems, let me know down in the comments and I will update this page with any of the other troubleshooting issues that people are having. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos in the near future. Peace out.